The story we can go across the correspondent Tahara Wad standing by in Beirut. Taha, good afternoon. How are authorities where you are trying to sell this deal uh, to the Lebanese people? Good afternoon. Well, first, uh, as a start, to be in particular, uh, the, what the authority is trying to say to the Lebanese people that this is a, a democration of the border, but this is in no way uh, diplomatic relations. This is uh, in no way any sort of uh, normalization with the state of Israel, which has been uh, at war with Lebanon since its uh, establishment. So looking at this deal in particular, the state or the authorities are trying to sell this as an economic win, as uh, it's a time when Lebanon is in dire need for hope or recovering its economy in any sort of way or possibility. And this is really how the uh, the authority in Lebanon is trying to sell this deal, that this is, uh, this is what's giving hope to the Lebanese people right now, that soon uh, gas exploration is going to start in block number nine, which is which was the block disputed with the Israeli authorities, and which is expected to have uh, to have a rich, uh, possibly a rich gas, a rich gas field. Taha, given that public distrust in government over in Lebanon has been high for years, do the people actually trust that those in power will actually use whatever revenues the, these uh, oil fields, ge- gas fields generate uh, back to the people? Well, in particular, the clear answer is definitely no. However, the people see something else in the deal, which is stability. Uh, even though uh, in terms of the economic prosperity, there is a still lack of trust in the government and in whether these resources may actually benefit the people eventually. But there is hope in the stability that this deal could provide because this uh, gas deal or this uh, border agreement means that uh, the southern border of Lebanon, which has been reasonably safe uh, since the last war in 2006, is still going to be safe on on, uh, on the longer run. Uh, in terms of the trust in the political elite or in the ruling elite, the Lebanese mostly view that this is the political elite that uh, uh, literally robbed their, uh, the people's bank accounts. So people can't go to withdraw money from their own banks because of failed measures and failed government the governance from the state and this political elite. So definitely, no, a big portion of the Lebanese population do not trust that, uh, uh, that the state can actually handle uh, such uh, resources without a clear mechanism, transparency, Transparency and with the current governance systems that have been in place since the 1990s. Well, uh, one can one can always hope, Taha. Thank you very much for that, uh, Rawataha, reporting there from Beirut.